right, so test and tune has been temporarily paused as we start to transition into our Mullis Race Cars Dragster Shootout time hit. So test and tune on a temporary pause. We will try to work more test and tune in later as we get into the program. But test and tune is on a pause at the moment. We're running out what we have left in the lanes here. And And we're gonna go ahead and throw out first call for the Mullis Race Cars Dragster Shootout one and only time hit. I am missing two tech cards in the tower. I need the last two tech cards for the Mullis Race Cars Dragster Shootout to the tower immediately. So there are still two Tech cards out there for the Mullis Race Cars Dragster Shootout. Please bring them up to the tower or up to the lanes. You have been called up for your time hit. So I'm missing two tech cards and Dragster Shootout. Time hit to lanes one and two, please. And the three cars left here in Test and Tune. Again, Test and Tune is on a pause while we get our 64 cars in the lanes. Leonard, of course, going home with a brand new Mullis Dragster chassis. We are going to do a little bit of track prep before we get into the one and only time trial for the Mullis shootout. And Mullis Shootout. One and only time run will take you up in the lanes. This is your call. Mullis Shootout. One and only time run will take you up in the lanes. This is your call. And the final call, or the final car coming up for test in tune. So again, we are going to do a little bit of track prep here before we get into the one and only time run for the Mullis Chassis Shootout. So again, if you are in the Mullis Shootout, this is your call. It's your time to shine. The one and only time run here at the Cash Harvest presented by Golf Star TV. Again, that is going to end the test and tune portion for right now. Mullis 64 cars. We need you up in the lanes. Mullis 64 cars shootout. One and only time run. We need you up in the lanes. Be a few minutes here while we do some track prep. So again, if you are in the Mullis Dragster shootout, 
This is your one and only time run. We need you up in the lanes. after this they make incredible content Midwest Bracket Fest 11K doubleheader live on Gallstar TV. Auxiliary starter button mount, provisions for dual shocks, mono strut wing mount, mollus blow shield, strange rack and pinion, not some aftermarket weird non brand name stuff, Mosier 4 link Fab 9 housing, symmetrical ends, mollus heavy duty anti roll bar, chrome molly drive shaft, ballast mount. It's a laid out car. 
First two guys up here at the head of staging lanes are both uh, fairly experienced racers. Turn on a lot of wind lights. So 64 cars, 64 guys think they're the baddest dude on the property, throwing up 325 bucks, no buybacks, no doubles, 325 bucks, 24 guys, they're going to run for a 2022 Jassy. Rocky, you got everything handled down there? All right. Can you hear me good enough? Absolutely. So here we are at the Corn Belt Classic Cash Harvest. Presented by Gall Star Bracket Races here at Cedar Falls Motorsports Park. Looks like we probably got the live feed going. I got here just in time. Uh, had to work this morning because I don't race anymore, so I have to work to get money. And then I have to come and work for Tom. Hey, they got it laid out here at Cedar Falls. We got the live stream up here. I got the live chat going on. Got, uh, oh, we're trying to boot up a, an announcer's computer the way it looks. I'm... Um, I don't have a motorhome or anything here this weekend, so uh, if you want to bring up alcoholic beverages, snacks, treats, food, you don't end up 6'3", 300 pounds by taking food lightly. I take it in volume. And I take my liquor in volume, too. It's only nine miles to the hotel. I think I can make it all right. I'm a pretty good driver. So again, this is the one and only time shot for the 64 car shootout for a new Mullis chassis. 
64 of the baddest dudes on the property coughed up $325. Look at that Travis Reitzel right there. He the, I might, I'll put him in my top five right now. We'll see what happens after the time trial. I'm a good luck charm, buddy. Who else we got? Oh, we got Fred Hankey in a foot brake car. He's going to cause some havoc, too, I believe. And then, of course, your barrage of the normal heavy hitters. Mark Bacon, Chad Bacon, all, everybody. You all know who they are. All right, we got Glenn, Glenn Dilday, right lane, in his 74-ish Nova. Left lane, Gene Skyberg. Gene's won a uh, won couple of the triple seven races. I think he maybe even won the points last year in triple seven, did he? He's no, uh, he's no stranger to the winner's circle. Terry Cook's over there. Right lane, Mr. Dilday, out of the Kansas City area. Just a time shot. But I'll try and entertain you a little bit anyway. Uh, somebody got on the popper a little early there and then shot her down. Well. If I was still racing, the only thing I'd really be worried about is hitting the tree right now. Left lane was 13 up front. Gene was 13 up front. Glenn was 34. Gary Shear, left lane. The bad, fast 450 Mullis dragster, right lane. It says Owen Drake, but it also says it's a Mullis. And that's a Plymouth, not a Mullis. But it is Owen Drake, I can see it on the window. Both of them red, 002 left lane, 17 red right. Cassie Joe left lane in her dragster right lane. Kevin Verkler. Both weekly bracket participants here at Cedar Falls Motorsports Park. Finest facility in Iowa. Yeah, I like what you're saying there, Jay. Hit the like button. Hit the like button on that feed. Hit the like button on Gallstar, on the YouTube, subscribe, all of that. Keep this stuff going. Wow, Cassie left so early that I don't even, there's no way she saw any light come on. She left on air. Absolutely 100% left on air. Right lane was 21 on the tree. Lemmick Construction S10 here. I haven't seen this rig. Of course, I haven't been out racing this year at all. Talon Lemmick. Little uh, round body S10. Fender exit headers, bead locks. Looks like a pretty nice little truck. Josh and Tucker Kanzlar. You're not immune from having to provide a tech card to make your time trial for this race. Josh and Tucker, get a time card, or a run card to the tower. Run card to the tower, team Kanzlar. Pretty common occurrence.
Got Duck Byerly over here. Left lane, his Plymouth Scamp. Right lane, fast. Freddy Hanky, Footbreaker. Thunder Valley. 72 Duster or something like that, I think it is. Freddy, uh, Freddy does maintenance on his transmission every eight years, does maintenance on his engine every 10, changes the oil every five. If you don't believe me, go ask him. He'll tell you. Go red. Freddy's 29 on the tree. Next pair, the old man. Papa Gall, Chris Gall, left lane. In his dragster, right lane, Colton Byerly, Ethan, South Dakota. Dark. Six up front. Got some sort of patriotic third gen Camaro here. I bet the driver's probably got a mullet. Third gens and mullets go hand in hand. It's Brody Robertson. No, it's not. Jack Wheeler, left lane. Jim Higgins, right lane in the Nova. Again, this is just time trials. These guys are getting, getting tuned up a little bit for the 64 car shootout. The Mullis Dragster, Mullis Race Car 64 car shootout. Winner's going to get that 2022 Mullis. Runner up is going to get a G ball. Semi finalists, 500 bucks. Just left lane. This is a cool, cool car. Uh, I think the car's been painted since the, I don't know, maybe he's redone it. I thought he told me one time it was painted in the 70s. It really hasn't been touched. The fish scale, the lace on the roof. Just a neat car. Mike Hanch, right lane. And the dragster, Ford powered dragster. Something a little unusual. That's why it's, uh, that's why it's so slow. <laughs> 19 and left for Ron, 15 for Mike Hench. Jeff Gobernatz, one of my favorite names on the planet to say, Jeff Gobernatz. Left lane, Ben Haugen, big, bad Ben Haugen in the Mustang, right lane. Again, this is just time trial. 64 cars, shootout for the Mollus Drags chassis. Big 
Big Ben goes six red. Jeff Gobernatz, 33 green in the left. Trevor Winch is left lane. 76 7 Camaro. Right lane. Little Suzuki bike action. Alex Barwelter from Wyoming, Minnesota. Oh, Camaro leaves pretty happy. 14 up front. The bike 66. Going to need to work on that. I'm going to go out on a limb and say if you're 66 first round of this shootout, you're going to put her in the trailer and get on the beer. Left lane, Chad Bacon, Bacon Builders. Do anything you want to do. Concrete is their specialty, but Chad in the off season will do tile, carpet, sheetrock, whatever. Right lane, Jeff Jones. Something you don't see every day. Ranger pickup. Little shorty dragster. Wade out of Sioux Falls. Not sure where Hunter's from. Wade's lead man. Maintenance. New Star Energy. Been there forever. Started digging for him. This goes to show you. You don't need somebody to pay back your student loans. You just need to go to work. Both of them, uh, we'll just leave the reaction times alone. They were only four thou apart. They were, they were not, not uh, anything to write home about. In eliminations, you're, 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 I'm gonna make fun of you. Hopefully nobody gets their feelings hurt. Nobody did an Addy Bill. And I guess if you do get your feelings hurt, come talk to me about it. Colton Munson left lane uh, 67, 8, 9 Mustang, something like that. Right lane, little S10, pro stock truck looking deal. Rick Verkler. Eleven and an eighteen. Eleven for the Mustang, eighteen for the truck. Truck's probably gonna be rolling about eight, nine out. Mustang might leave it alone, maybe roll four or five. Jeff Cheney left lane, right lane Zach Mark.
double 01 lap red in the lap 10 in the right rear end. Again, this is just time trial. For the Mollus Race Car Shootout, these guys are racing for a 22, 2022 Mollus base chassis. Uh, now, Mollus's base chassis is quite a little different than everybody else's base chassis. A lot of the tabs, a lot of stuff still, a lot of stuff's on there that doesn't come on other companies' base chassis. These cars are built up in North Dakota now. North Dakota. Look at that, we got some of the folk boys here. So we got Travis Reitzel, left lane, Sam McCarty in the right. 17 green in the left, and old Sam in the Mustangs, 006 in the right. Six in the right. So time trial. We're leaving together. If you're watching this, I'm going to go ahead and assume that you uh, you fully comprehend what a time trial is, but maybe I should explain it. So basically, test pass, time trial, whatever you want to call it. Some places you qualify to get on the ladder. You're just making a run down the track. Reaction time. Make sure your car is where you think it should be, according to your weather station, according to your predictor, whatever equipment you use. Um, so it's basically a practice run. Yeah. Here's Jeff Rue, left lane, he's he's not happy with his reaction time, I guarantee you that. We'll just leave it alone until eliminations. Jake Stansbury was in the right, he was 002. Left lane here, we got Harry Jerry McGraw with his newfound porn star mustache. Him and Mr. Bacon. Fast dragster out of Plattsmouth, Nebraska. Billy Banks Jr. in the right lane. Lower drags. They're both red. They're both double O red. Double O four for Harry Jerry McGraw in the left lane. Billy Banks is double O one red. Right. So we got Roger Hoff here in the left lane, owner of Land Chart. Land Shark chassis, obviously racing a Land Shark dragster, a little shorty, 185 inch wheelbase. There's shorter than anybody's. Puts you right in the action, like driving a like drag racing a go kart. They're short, they turn well, and they are fun to drive at the finish line. Right lane, Kalen Big now. Rogers 11, Kalen's 18. Again, this is, oh, we got a bag flying out onto the track. Maybe it'll make it over. Oh, come on, get, there we go. Up, up, and away now. So Mark Bacon, the matriarch of Bacon Builders, 
Pretty sure Mark doesn't do all the stuff that Chad does in the winter. I think Mark just does the concrete in summer. Right lane. We got a substitute for Ricky Livingston. I didn't write the name down. Can't remember his name. Good looking. Kyle. Kyle Markham. Little carbon fiber dragster, big block Chevy. Mark Bacon's stuff over here is fast. Uh, wouldn't shock me at all to see him outrun this dragster. Yeah, he can, he can outrun that dragster. Mark's 14 up front. Mr. Mark is 21. Stepped this thing up a bunch from last year. It ran 480, 490 last year. I think it's going 450 everywhere he goes now. Probably got Driscoll power in it, I would guess. Dusty Winrich in the right lane, another little uh, S10. That thing gets with it early. 104.60 foot for Robert. 007 on the tree. The little truck was 10 on the tree. Again, just a time trial, just a little practice here. Get yourself acclimated. Next round, the nut cutting starts, as they call it, the cattle business. Don't know why I said that. It'll get worse from here on out. Matt Clark, right lane. And his dad's dragster. The big one. Roger just had shoulder surgery replacement. If you see Roger, don't try and high five him or anything. Don't smack him on the shoulder. He just like two days ago, I had shoulder replacement surgery. Left lane, Caleb Westendorf. Justin Wells, left, left lane, promoter of the triple sevens bracket series. Posley's going to come up here and help announce a little bit. He's a lot better at drinking than he is at announcing. Right lane, Brandon Schmall. If you don't know the Schmall name, you're obviously not watching any bracket racing on any live stream, but you're certainly not watching it from the Midwest. Both bottom ball cars here. Jason Jerkowski, that Burkowski, and a good looking Z34 Lumina. If you are a child, if you were born in about 69 to 79, you probably think this is one of the coolest cars around because I do, and I'm really cool. Eric, <laughs> Eric Bavish in the right lane in the dragster. He comes in hot through the water. I noticed that. First time I've ever paid attention to him. Got good years on. So probably pretty new at this. 5 Left lane's 37. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now we got... We got Shane Showtime Boney. Left lane. 
owns a trucking company over Minnesota. They deliver a lot of liquid feed all over hell, all the way out to, uh, yeah, they'll go all the way to the west coast. This guy can get her done off the bottom, off the top. Shane go worse than about 20 off the bottom. Something broke in his equipment. He is a machine. He's right there with the small clan off the bottom, I'll tell you that. Colin Hurley, left lane, old mobile cutlass, another one of them cool cars if you were born. You know, if you went to high school in the 80s, you like this a lot. Brad Thompson, the younger of the Thompson clan. So right lane was, uh, we'll leave it alone. Left lane, Collins 13. I would guess, no buybacks and all that. 64 car shootout, he's probably gonna roll a few out first round. Oh boy. Jock Nicholson, left lane, trailertoad.com. Assist your, your motorhome. If you got a motorhome or a pickup or anything that isn't quite up to the task of pulling your trailer, get with Jock, get you a trailer toad. Take the load off your coach, put it on the toad. Put a load on the toad. I just came up with a new slogan for him. Ray Thompson in the right lane. Andy Nicholson, left lane in the dragster. Also, trailertoad.com. Put the load on the toad. Right lane. My little buddy, Tucker Ganselar. And old Tucker come running right up here with every tech card for the weekend after I give him a little grief. Appreciate that. We're all pretty good friends. So I gotta give him a little grief once in a while. Don't get to see him much anymore. So Andy Nicholson left lane in his dragster, Tucker Ganselar in the right lane. I, believe, I think that's an American dragster. I can't remember. Power, power in it. Fast, 450 range. Tucker turns on a lot of wind lights. Andy turns on a lot of wind lights. Again, this is just a time trial for the Mullis Race Cars Shootout. 22, 2022 base chassis. The guy that wins this, winning that chassis. Trips. Tucker's trips in the time trial. You can't tell me it wasn't me giving him a little grief. That made him try a little harder. Andy's 24 in the left. Tucker goes 459, 149. Colin Estes, left lane. Little shorty dragster. I think it's Danny Nelson. If I had to bet, I would bet it is. Right lane, not on file, 452. Oh, that's Josh. Josh can slaughter right lane.
Collin goes 10. Josh goes 2. So Tucker goes trips. Tucker goes trips, and Josh goes 002 on the tree. Tucker's probably going to add a little. Josh probably isn't even going to touch it. Right lane, the noisiest car on the property. John Davis Jr., Dunkerton, Iowa. One of them fun towns to say, Dunkerton. I believe he's a heavy equipment operator. Got Pro Charge 540, I think, in this thing. It's turned way down. They pulled timing out of it forever, and it is ridiculous out the back. Usually runs 189, 420 range. Probably be the fastest car on the property, I'm guessing. Again, I just got here two minutes before. Well, actually, I was on time. Again, this is just time trial for the Mollus race cars shootout. They're winning a 2022 20, Mollus base car. Again, their base cars are completely different than everybody else. Double O five up front, one oh one sixty foot, four twenty three. Big block Sean. Out of Minnesota, engine builder. Double O two. So that concludes the time run for the Mullis Race Cars Shootout. That was all 64 of them. All right, so here we go. We're gonna cool these things down, everybody but about four of you. Ought to be cooled off. Actually, everybody should be cooled off except the last pair, really. Bring them up. We're going to do a little prep quick. Make sure we got the best surface we can possibly get for you guys. So, Mullis, 64 car shootout. Here's your first call. One Lanes one and two. When one and two fill up, obviously we'll go three and four. Lane one, going to be left lane. Lane two, going to be right lane. Lane three, left lane. Lane four, right lane. So here's the deal. If you guys get stacked up in one lane, or as I like to call it, nuts to butts, the front car at the head of staging is going to get his choice. So if it's in the left lane and you're stacked up over there, he's going left, you're going right. Just know that. It's the way it's going to be. That's the way it is everywhere. And that's the way we're going to do it here. That's the way it happens here all the time. So there will be no buys. 64 cars. Mullis race cars shootout for that 2020, 2022. That's really hard to say. I'm just going to go 22 base chassis. No buybacks. No nothing. So bring them up, one and two, Mollus Race Car Shootout. Couldn't make it to cash harvest? You can still take home a piece of the action with official event t-shirts and hoodies, available exclusively at GolfStarTV.com. Limited quantities are available Grab yours on the swag shop at gallstartv.com before they're gone. Trailer Toad is a unique weight-bearing hitch that protects motorhomes, truck campers, pickups, and SUVs by carrying the entire tongue weight of the trailer. With Trailer Toad, you experience a zero tongue weight on your tow vehicle. Best yet, all Trailer Toad models are 100% made in America and built to take the punishment. To learn more about Trailer Toad, visit TrailerToad.com or call 
319-404-7001 today. I don't know. Maybe ask him what radiator you need and what water pump you should be using if it takes you an hour and 45 minutes to cool your car. Again, nobody gets your feelings hurt. This is all fun. But if your feelings are hurt, just remember, I love you. So we're laying a little prep down. Again, the Mullis Race Car Shootout at the Corn Belt Classic Hash Harvest. $11,000 double header. So today, we've had registration. You should be registered. We got the test in tune, ran that. Now we're in the Mullis Race Car Shootout. Time hits over, eliminations to follow. And that's what's following. So far we got 10, we got 12 of you up here. Need 64. Again, if you get stacked up, and, and look, right now everybody's splitting lane to lane. It's, it, it's working out real well. But if you get all stacked up in one lane, it's going to be the first card of stage, head of staging is going to get his lane choice or her lane choice. So a couple things we need to pay attention to here. We got some merchandise. Got t-shirts, hoodies, hats, stickers, Gall Star canopy. Between the concession stands and the staging lanes. You can see it over there. You see the canopy by the big picnic shelter area. There's a special going on, the Cash Harvest Special. Purchase a Cash Harvest shirt. Get a bracket fest shirt for 10 bucks off. Live streams brought to you by 1320 Marketing. It's on the Gall Star YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the like button. Slam the old like button. Event photography. Abigail Designs is on the site on the property again. Get four photos, 20 bucks. She does a nice job. Don't know where she's parked, but go fill out your form, drop your 20 bucks, get your four stickers or four uh, pictures. And then of course text alerts. Text Gallstar to 74121. 74121, text Gallstar for your alerts. I was getting them last night, getting them this morning. Getting texts from Tom, are you coming? Are you coming? Are you gonna be here? I made it on time. Lanes three and four are open, gentlemen and ladies. Roll them up here. Everybody's scared to come up here. Nobody wants Chad Bacon. Nobody. Nobody wants Shane Showtime Boney. Sean, she cooled off? You just got the hood open for show, right? Let them know which pump to buy? That's my man.
So, here we go. Eliminations time. Or as I like to call it, the nut cutting time. No buybacks. $325 you paid to enter this race. And uh, two go up, one go home. Kind of like wrestling. Two go up, one goes home. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're a couple minutes away from the National Anthem here. Find the flag. Gentlemen, take your hats off. Be just a second here. All right, let's stand up, take the hats off, and get with the national anthem. Thank everybody for, uh, if you know a vet, thank a vet. I know things are weird right now, but they've provided us with this opportunity. Out going to be fast Fred Hankey and big block Sean Anderson. Another thing to keep in mind here, guys. True start is on. If you don't know what true start is, ask a buddy. Or I can tell you right now, worst red loses. Makes it a little fair, but it does make it a little bit confusing. Sometimes they'll leave both green, or the car that's red will leave green. As soon as the faster car leaves, it'll pop it red. That's true start. I see Sam McCarty down there. He's confused. Has no idea what I'm talking about. True start. What are you talking about? Wade Ops trying to explain it to him. Shane Boney's going, who gives a shit? I leave off the bottom. I think we're ready. Here we go.
Fred Hankey left lane. Out of Hartford, South Dakota. Bottom ball, foot break. Like I said before, his maintenance is even, <laughs> it's unbelievable. Right lane, Sean Anderson. Out of Minnesota, engine builder. Late model Camaro, fifth gen, sixth gen, whatever the hell that body style is. The, the transformer Camaro. Little duster in the left. Uh-oh, somebody stumbled a little bit. Sean Anderson was the winner of that last one there. We got a little problem with the computer. He took, well, did a very nice job. Had a pretty big advantage on the starting line. Got there 007. I'm thinking uh, somebody messed up their delay box. 175 red in the right and breaking out. 13 and left for Gene. Don't know what his dial in was, but. Uh... Four seventy three dial in on the left. Sorry, we're having a little computer problems up here. I'm usually a lot more entertaining than this. Bear with me. Six forty four dial in on the right for the little truck. Reaction time advantage, left lane. Left lane's your winner. 72-9, one thou under. Double breakout, left lane getting a win. Double O seven to a double O four on the bike. Left lane picking up the win. One of the Cheneys left lane. Papa Gall in the right. Or as he's better known on the old interwebs, the old man. He's dialed 478 in the right lane. I think it's one of the Cheneys in the left. Don't know what happened with Papa Gall, but he's big time. Big time late on the tree. His opponent, 002. <laughs> yeah. Talon Lemke left lane dialed 640. Sam McCarty on the right dialed 596. That car's been a race car for, I don't know, at least. 89. We got it red in the right. Sam 16. Excuse me, red in the left. 005 red in the left. Sam 16 in the right. We're still having a little technical difficulties with the computer here, so this is gonna be uh, gonna be kind of a stumbler through this first round. Zach Markham in the left lane, dialed 505. Aaron Markham in the right. 
flamed up Firebird dialed 594. Reaction time advantage left lane. He's got him doubled up. Ooh. You got to mind the gap. Wes Collins. Wes Collins, you was telling me. These boys got to mind the gap. Gary Shear, left lane. Dragster, right lane. Four fifty three in the left for Shear's bike, five ninety one. Big Okay. Had thirty up front, took two thousand too many. Took fifty two to be two thousand under. Left lane, Matt Cheney. Right lane, I don't know. I'm gonna have to know these people to announce them, folks. 501 on the left, 490 on the right. 10th out, advantage time, right lane, right lane puts together. 19 dead two, 21 total. Little truck, left lane, dialed 708, 491 for the dragster in the right. I don't know what happened with the truck. He, oh, yeah, he, that's why he, too, he double stepped it. He knew he was red, tried to lift. Right there was true start in action. 005 red, right lane's 15 green. Pretty sure you can probably hear it on the live feed even. He nailed it, lifted, nailed it again. Knew he flinched a little bit. Roger Hoff, left lane in the dragster, land shark dragster. Right lane, Jim Higgins in the 70 Nova. 69 Nova, I think, 69 Nova. Roger has a massive advantage on the starting line. Let's see if he can make it work. Should be wop, 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 and make it work. He don't make it work. Roger takes 75. Here we go, this is the way it's gonna be all weekend. Mind the gap. Roger was 004, his opponent's 50. Roger takes 75, breaking out four. He ain't gonna be happy, but he is gonna get picked on. And he is a good friend of mine. We got the mullet machine left lane. Colton Byerly in the right. The mullet machine's got Colton doubled up and then some. Colton can't make it happen. He goes under trying to get there. Left lane's 11. 646-1 on whatever his dial was. Travis Wright's a left lane here, out of Minnesota. If he doesn't win first round, I'm sure he's coming directly to the tower to slap me in the lips for picking him to be top five. 
Right lane, Mr. Drake in the Plymouth. Dialed 648. 639 down on the left, or 539 down on the left, 648 in the right. Travis goes dead seven for the win, taking 11 thou. He was behind at the hit. Made it work at the finish line. Left lane, one of the folk boys, don't know who. Steve's standing down there, making sure everything's right. And Doug Barley in the right lane. Doug dialed 681. Left lane, folk, 466. Left lane's perfect. Doug's got problems. Left lane is trips. Two above, taking two thou for the win. Steve, can you hear me? Who's driving that? Okay, Mark Bacon left lane. Dialed 483 in the fast Mustang. Little Robin Egg Blue, beautiful little pro stock truck in the right, dialed 543. Mark's got a big starting line advantage to see if he can make it work. He does. He's dead zero, double eight up front, eight total, right lane, locked out, mathematically ineligible. He's 26 up front, can't do nothing with it. Left lane, Dustin Wells, foot breaking fool. Right lane. Glenn Dilde. Right lane in the Nova. Six seventeen down the left, five forty-seven for the big Nova in the right. Ooh, double oh two in the left. Dilde is twelve. A pair of great reaction times. Wells gets it done. He's two eight above, double oh eight above, ten total for the win. Glenn was 12 on the tree and uh, mathematically ineligible. 10 total is going to be 12 on the tree every time. Jeff Rue, left lane. Big, bad, Ben Haugen. Dustin Wells is undercover lover, brother, or whatever they always say. I don't know. I, I just don't want to see them in the motorhome after midnight together because I think it's going to get weird. Jeff Rue's car sometimes hangs it on the bumper to like, I don't know, 120, 30 feet. Let's hope it does that tonight. And he's got her team down a bit and he is way behind on the starting line. He's got, yeah, he's got troubles. Big Ben Haugen. Big Ben's 10. I think he was two above. One above for sure, taking 40. Kind of hogged it a little, but got away with it. Left lane, Cassie Joe, regular Cedar Falls Motorsports Park points racer. Right lane, Wade Op, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Pipeline maintenance man, lead maintenance man. 487 on the left, 483 on the right. Virtually heads up. Certainly won't be able to see it in the tree. Let's go 
throw, 15 red. Cassie's 23 green. Dead four, 27 total. Brandon Small, right lane. The Bass Tronics Mustang. Not sure who's in the left lane, but he's got his hands full. I can tell you that. Trouble in the left, as you can see, uh, Black Mustang's well out already. Rip, rip, bang, bang, here we go. See you later. Thanks for the donation. Chain Showtime Boney, left lane 593 dial. Good little S10, small block Chevy. Right lane, Mike Hinch, Punisher Racing, Lucas Oil. Oh, hey, the computer. Hey, we got a computer again. Shane Boney, left lane. I like to call him Showtime. And I think it's starting to stick. I think a lot of people are calling him Showtime. Mike Hans, right lane. Mike's dialed 484. Shane's dialed 593. Got a little fluid on the track. Shane's wife spotted for him. Ooh, that'd About a second spot here. Mike's gonna have to spot the little truck. Chain owns a trucking company. Mike Hench is, uh, how do I say this? Well, he, he, he's got a sugar mama. Mike's pretty much retired. His wife works at the hospital. It's kind of a joke, but. Showtime goes 005 green. Hinch is 29. He's got troubles, but he makes it happen. Ooh, Showtime is five up front. Goes seven thou under, taking 45 for the L. Mike's 29 up front. 14 above. Here we go. Chad Bacon, left lane, Bacon Builders. 465, big block Chevy powered dragster, I believe Driscoll power. Goes 450s. The way Driscoll makes power, that's probably like a 509, because it'd go 420s if it had a 540. Oh, the right lane. Somebody throw away the time slip. Don't. Do not let Chad Bacon see his time slip. Right lane's 93, and Chad goes 004 red. So, Chad's gonna be into the beer. Uh, he's gonna be a little upset. Seems like that's always the way it is, though. You go 00 red, and your guy's 100, which Jeremy White was 93. Four seventy three. Oh, four seven. Heads up. Computer went down on us again here. We're doing a. We're gonna do a full reboot here in about eight pair. Oh my God! It's heads up, and they're dead even on the tree. Winner right lane. Twelve on the tree. So Matt Clark's in the right lane. 
gonna dial four sixty something, I would guess. <laughs> four oh four fifty two. Left lane's gonna dial six twelve in that Mustang. Not sure who the left lane is. time advantage to Matt Clark. Matt Clark's not going to make it happen. I don't know what happened to Matt. Ron Wirtges, left lane. See Travis down there, his boy. Oh, he's got a nasty shirt on. Can't put his shirt on the uh, live feed. It'll offend people. Trigger some, maybe. Right lane, uh, yeah, I don't know who it is. Right lane's getting a win, though. 12 red in the left. The senior McGraw in the left lane, Robert, gonna be dialed 456. Right lane, 496 dial. So again, Robert McGraw on the left dialed 456. Right lane, name not in my memory, 496. Big advantage time, reaction time advantage to the left lane. He's 003 up front. Left lane, 513, right lane, 480. Reaction time advantage to the right. You can hear him ripping early. Doesn't make it happen. Ripped it too many times. Left lane goes dead. Dead three. There's Buddy McGraw. Harry, Jerry McGraw here. His friends and family call him Buddy. Sporting uh, one of the full-blown 80s porn star mustaches that these young guys are doing now. Chad Bacon, I think, started the whole thing. They're both married, so we know they're not porn stars at all. Or from it. Buddy is in big trouble. His fast car might bail him out. Not this time. Right lane's 11 total. Buddy was uh, 
way more than a lap on the hit. Let's just put it that way. One of the Thompson boys, the dragster over there. And the cool little Z34 Lumina on the left lane. Oh, followed up by Colin Hurley in the Cutlass. I mean, we've got 80s Pro Stock coming at you, left lane, next two pair. 80s and 90s. Lane goes double O2 red. Heartbreaker. Let's see if we can get both of the old, the old school pro stock looking cars through. Once again, this is the eliminations for the Mollus Dragster shootout. We have a little glitch. The announcer's computer screen doesn't work, so, I, or, well, it, it, it blocked up on us. We're going to get her fixed. We just need to reboot it, so I apologize for the lack of entertainment. I can only talk about who I know. Right lane, John Davis Jr., fast, fast pro charge dragster. 423, I believe he went in his time hit. Left lane, little shorty. Racecraft shorty. John Davis ahead at the hit. John Davis gets the win. He's 16 up front, dead eight. Can you imagine that? Go 423 in a time trial. Dial 423, go 423, dead eight. You're only the. Only the fastest car on the property and going dead on right out of the gate, first round. Tucker Cancel, our left lane, 450, 459 dial, 550 in the right in the first gen Corvette. Don't have the name, don't, can't remember who, know who it is, but I can't remember. Tucker in the left, full second plus spot. Tucker's got himself a little advantage on the starting line. Neither one of them are great. Tucker lays it down too. He's 24 total. It's two above for the win. Jock Nicholson left lane. Jock won the first. Jock won the first. Uh, <laughs> Jack won the first Gulf Star Bracket race in Eddyville. Um, this little S10, they, they've worked on it a lot. 
over the last year and a half and it is just nasty and don't let jock kid you for a senior citizen he gets her done too right lane josh canzelar another 450 dragster jacques got himself a big advantage on the starting line jacques gets her done two above seven double eight up front for the win old jock right where he left off getting her done this papa gall got himself a scooter All right, we're gonna do a little reboot on the computer. Give you guys a little bit of time to cool them down here. Whip me up another cocktail. Go down and talk to my old buddy, Chris. Check it out, you guys. I got an absolute treat for you guys. I'm going on a field trip. Mollus race cars. I'm hanging out here at the Mollus race cars headquarters. As you can see, three brand new hot rods being built behind me. There's more on the welding jigs in the other room. Taking the opportunity to hang out with Toby and Glenn, the entire team here at Mollus, and uh, to get to know their business a little bit better and to get to know their race cars a little bit better. to keep everything efficient here you know tubing will come in all chrome molly we use dough cool on some things we'll go right on the tubing rack right over to our saw gets cut right onto a cart and then all, every tube gets polished you know inspected and made sure there's no dents or any imperfections in it then we'll wrap it up into kits on different sections of the car and then we'll pull the kits out cut them open and then we'll fit the floor then we'll do back half, then upper frame rails, then there's foot box, I'll fit the cage, then the front half, and then the last part is the swing arm, or the control arms. So, and then this car is actually just about to be done, the, we're just finishing up the control arms, and then those will be, this car will be done, it'll go on our rotisserie over there, where Justin will finish weld it. How long of a process is it, would you say, for like one car to go from the rack to year be done with it and it's ready for finish welding. For finish welding is about 50 to 55 hours. So a little more than a week. You do, it takes you a little more than a week to do one, right. to do your part of it. Right, and then Justin for finish welding and tabbing will take 30 to 35 hours. And in that time, he'll go over and cut and polish tubes. We also have uh, a couple other employees from our sister companies come over and they like to help, you know, they just want to be a part of the race car thing. So it's a, it's, cool. it's a happy family. Yeah. So and they all want to chip in because they want to come over and yeah and work here full time. So it's kind of They're jealous. Yeah. <laughs> like, you get to work on race cars all the time. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Man. Tell me a little bit about you. How long, I mean, how, obviously we know how long you've been working at Mollus, but give me the, give me the background a little bit further back from that. How long you've been doing the race car stuff? Uh, it actually started uh, in 2010. I got a scholarship to go to Ohio Technical College for high performance. And from there, I went to Coletta Motorsports. I did cylinder heads in the body on the DHL Funny Car for two years with Jeff Wren and Del Worsham. Um, Jeff Wren's my boy. And uh, from there, I went over to Thor Sport Racing, which is a NASCAR truck team. Um, got a championship with uh, Matt Crafton. And after that, Work for a company called Big Three Racing in Medina, Ohio. They're streetcar tuner place. Do some high-end badass builds. I was there for six months, so it's kind of in a transition period. And then uh, applied at Schumacher. Didn't get the job there. 
and I passed Force on the way, and I pulled in their driveway, and they're like, we're looking for, you, for a guy like you. So <laughs> worked there for six years as the uh, lead dragster fabricator. I also did about 60% of the funny cars too, along with the bodies, so. That's a heck of a resume, man. Yeah. And now you're right here, and you're gonna probably be the one welding my race car together. Well, he'll be the one welding. We got we got a top-notch crew over here at Mullis Race Cars. You, that is a that's an outstanding resume, man. You do outstanding work here. Thank you. What else do I need to know about what's going on here on your fit-up table? Just try to keep everything as precise as possible. It fits tight as it can be. You know, we don't skimp. We try to do everything to the highest level of and SFI compliant and above and beyond. You know, Glenn's been really open to a lot of my opinions with the fuel side of things, um, the way that we did, like implemented like a little bit more safety stuff, reinforcing places that may, you guys might not need, but if you put a 2,500 horsepower engine in these things, it's not it's gonna think, it. it's ready for it. So in fuel, we, we paid a lot of attention to the front half because that's where the car gets up on arch. We didn't have a suspension. So mm -hmm. when the car went up on arch, that's when it actually hooked better. So playing with the front half was definitely the magic in both top fuel and funny car because we did different slips in different places and funny car too so that's cool this is where the magic happens that is cool so this is just as much of a suspension as that is so and if you're doing running a rigid tail obviously you want to play with the front half a little bit more even from adjusting lengths here you know in your slip joints up front but obviously you want to keep longevity with your you know, you guys are going thousands of runs on a front half, not 75, so. Dropping some serious knowledge out here. I'm learning some things. These boys at Mullis definitely know what they're doing out here. Man, this is impressive. How long have you uh, been well in the race cars? Like, is Mullis not probably your first go around? Huh? Uh, cars like this, six months now, yeah. Um, but uh, I do a lot of door cars and uh, road course cars, um, grid life stuff, and drag racing stuff, so uh, that kind of stuff probably four years, four and a half years now, so yeah, but this stuff is pretty new to me, like these cars are totally different, welding on a rotator and everything's exposed and easy, you know, it's really nice. So, so, so you're, you're like in the mullest thing right now? Yep, yeah, and everything's really clean, you don't have to crawl around in a cage car, that's really nice. What's it like working for Glenn and Toby? Oh, they're super nice dudes. Uh, Glenn is one of the most relaxed bosses, very, he's very, like, caring, making sure everything's going well and the process is fluid, and these two, uh, the shop morale is good, lots of joking, and, yeah, I don't know, we haze each other a lot, but it helps the days go by, so. So you're having fun, and you're working on race cars. Yeah. You don't get better than that, right, man? All right, what else can you ask for, so. I hope you guys enjoy this little behind the scenes of the fabrication, fit up, and welding operations that go down over at Mullis Race Cars. You guys, links to Mullis are down in the description below. Please give them a look if you're in the market for a new race car. I can't speak highly enough about the guys and all the work that they're doing over at Mullis, and I hope this video just kind of helped convey that to you guys. If you're in the market for a race car, go and look them up. Links are down in the description.
couldn't make it to cash harvest, you can still take home a piece of the action with official event t-shirts and hoodies available exclusively at GolfStarTV.com. Limited quantities are available. Grab yours on the swag shop at GolfStarTV.com before they're gone. All right, here we go. They're piling in. Round two, Mullis race cars shootout. Winning themselves a 22 Mullis chassis dragster. Looking for 32 cars coming back here. Got most of them. John Anderson brought his Camaro right back to the front. Gene Skyberg's next to him in the 67, 8, 9, Firebird, whatever. Six eleven dial in the left. Six forty one dial for Sean, big block Sean in the right. And we got live action right now on the computer. Who's taking it? Gene Skyberg, left lane, 611 dial in the Firebird, right lane. Big block Sean Anderson, engine builder out of Minnesota, 641 dial in the right. Sean goes 001 red. Gene is 10. 10 up front, two thou under. He's right where he wants to be. He was very salty first round also. Sean, no good both ways. Double one red and uh, three under, 21 under. Left lane, Al Grime, 472 dial from Dundee, Iowa in that dragster. Right lane, Kevin Berkler, 490 dial. I believe Berklers are from Iowa too. Uh-oh. Kevin Berkler, let's go 18 red. Left lane, Al Grime is 007. One above eight for the win. Left lane, Dustin Wells. The S10 Chevy pickup. Right lane, Kalen Bignell. The dragster, 489 dial in the right, 616 in the left. Dustin Wells is a semi-legal horticulturist specializing in flowers and aromatics. Oh, look at the old S dime leave today. He's 23, he's got double up. Yeah, he makes it happen. 
He's 23 up front, one above zero, taking 20 for the win. Caitlin's 42 on the tree and above. Dustin Wells moving on. Jack Wheeler, 645 dial in what I'm calling the mullet machine. Actually, we're going to change that to America. American mullet. We're going to call it the American mullet machine. Left lane, Jack Wheeler, dialed 645. Aaron Milton in the right, dialed 595. Hey, the American mullet machine is going to get the win. He's 20 up front. Dead seven, 27 total. Right lane goes 10 red, eight thou under. Just a little time trial to put in the computer for tomorrow's action. Left lane coming up here is gonna be Travis Reitzel. Travis Wright's the left lane, down 539. Brandon Schmall, right lane, 667. Both tough competitors. Opposite ends of the spectrum here. Travis, top ball, leaving off the top. Brandon, bottom. Not sure if he foot breaks that or, or a button off the bottom. But anyway. Bottom bulb right lane, top bulb left lane. 1.3 and change seconds. 1.3 seconds to separate them. We almost full tree. Travis is in a bit of trouble. He's about six, seven on the line, but he makes it happen. He's 26, dead six. 26, dead six, 32 total. Brandon's 19 up front, goes 18 above. Travis gets there. Actually, Brandon let Travis have it back, 005. Hey, test and tune, guys. You want to test and tune a little bit? You roll them up into three and four. Test and tune three and four, please. Test and tune three and four. We got Jeff Cheney in the left lane and big daddy Ben Haugen in the right lane. Dustin Wells, undercover lover. What do they, what do they say? What do they say? Undercover lover? I don't know. Yeah, I think it's undercover lover. It's weird. Very weird stuff. Like I said, I don't want to be in the motorhome anytime after dark. Wow. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm gonna call. Uh, I'm gonna call it like it is. Jeff Cheney's. Let's let the burnout happen. Jeff Cheney's 80 up front. 80. Yeah, I said that right. 80. Ben Haugen's 19. He's 19 and 19 above, taking 60. I mean, taking a freight train yet on Cheney, and uh, yeah, it is what it is. Cheney missed it. Not on file, but we all know it's one of the bulk boys over here in the left lane. I think it's Brian, I'm not sure. I haven't seen anybody wandering around. Right lane, Jeremy White, dialed 502. Folks dialed 466, left lane. Dead even on the react. Windlight going left lane. He's 16. He's 16, one thou under. Far lane. Thanks, Wade Up. Right lane is 16, also nine thou under. Cassie Joe Garrett, left lane. The Peterson machine and welding. Her boyfriend, fiance now, I think. Maybe even husband, I'm not sure. 
fabulous, absolutely fabulous fabricator. And is absolutely crazy races Nitro Harleys. Right lane, Jake Stansberry. 488 down the left, 474 in the right. Cassie's got the advantage up front. And she puts it together. She's 10 on the tree, 11 above. Right lane, 16 up front, one under, taking 15 for the loss. So Cassie Joe moving on. 32 this round. I'll let you all do the math, figure out uh, what's going to be coming back next round. Some of you are going to have to get a calculator out. Some of you are not. I know 15 plus 15 is 30, so there's 32 coming back. So I think, I think that would make 16. Right lane picking up the win. Left lane, Mark Bacon, Fort Dodge, Iowa, Bacon Builders, about 481. Right lane, Alex Barwelter, 592 from Wyoming, Minnesota. Oh, Mark Bacon, uh, Mark Bacon had the dial-ins wrong in the old uh, delay box. Colton Munson left lane, late 60s fast back Mustang, maybe 64, 65, I'm not sure, I'm not a Ford guy. 611 dial, right lane Mike Hanch, Harrisburg, South Dakota. Punisher Oils by Lucas. And the undercover dragster, dialed 485. 485 in the right, 611 in the left. Left lane's got about a tenth reaction time, or a handy reaction time. Makes it happen. 17, one above six, taking double O2. Snugged it up a little more than he needed to there. But nonetheless, Colton Munson gets the win. Left lane, Jason Kurowski. Kurkowski. Kaski. <laughs> Jason Kirkoski. Left lane 549 dial. Sam McCarty. Big Sam McCarty. 596 in the right. 009. Sam's got him a tenth. Let's see if he can make it happen. He does make it happen. I'll tell you what, Sam did a nice job there. He's 009 up front. He's 15 above, taking nine. I like it. I like it.
Okay, left lane, Caleb Westendorf in the dragster, dialed 512. Jim Higgins in the 69 Nova over there, dialed 675. They are 5,000, separate them at the tree. Reaction time advantage, left lane, win light to Jim Higgins in the right. He's 30 up front, dead six, 36 total, that's the math. Left lane's 25 up front, 17 above. Left lane, left lane, Robert McGraw, McGraw, 456 dial in that dragster. That's an M&M dragster with Driscoll power in it. Right lane, Ray Thompson. Him and his son both have identical cars, dialed 501. Big, big reaction time to Robert McGraw. Should be able to make this happen pretty easily, and he does. He's 14 to above four, taking 15. Uh, even dropping that hard had uh, Ray completely locked out mathematically ineligible. Ray was pretty late up front. Robert gets the win. So here we go. Doc Nicholson, left lane in the old S10 they call Cherry. His granddaughter named it Cherry. And so far it has been a Cherry ride for the elder statesman, Doc Nicholson. Should be. Dead, not even on the reaction time, 19 apiece. Jack goes two above one for the loss. Billy Banks. Billy Banks goes 16 above, 19 on the tree, 5 thou margin. Last pair out. Tucker Kanzelar, left lane dialed 459. Right lane, John Davis Jr. Dial 423. Tucker Kanzler, left lane, 459 dial, John Davis Jr., right lane, Dunkerton, Iowa, dialed 423. He's went 423 in his time trial, went 423 with a nine, first round. We'll see what he does here. Pretty much even up front. Davis goes dead on again. He's 22. He's 22 up front, dead six. 28 total. Tucker goes 28 up front. One above two for the loss. He's 12 foul behind at the start at the finish line. Gonna have a little test in tune here now. Got, oh, I don't know, 20 pair maybe of test in tune. So, uh, Mollus race car shootout cars, when you get them cooled down, bring them back, one and two. One and two. Gonna take a little break here while the uh, test and tune cars run. Just let you watch a little race in action.
All right, back to the test and tune action. So, Don't forget about the merchandise trailer and tent action. Do we must have a Lisa Byerly over there working the uh, t-shirt shack. Over there right by the gate going through to the staging lanes. Got some specials going on. Buy a Cash Harvest shirt, get any Bracket Fest shirt, $10 off. Applies to t-shirts and hoodies. So if you've been, uh, you've been hanging on to your $39 or whatever them hoodies are, you're gonna get $10 off of one you buy a t-shirt. Don't forget, don't forget. Some places are hard to hear here. Raced here for a lot of years. You can probably hear me everywhere because I'm such a loud mouth. But uh, text alerts, text GALLSTAR to 74121. That's GALLSTAR 74121. Also, don't forget the pictures. Abigail H. Designs on site, professional photography package. Four photos. Four photos emailed to you for only 20 bucks. Find her in the pits near, don't know. Find her in the pits. So we're gonna be going into round three of the Mullis Race Car Shootout where the winner is gonna get a brand new 2022 Mollus base chassis. Like I said before, Mollus does things a little bit different. Their base chassis is not a base chassis like everybody else. Just got a little uh, text from Abby, Abigail H. Design, back here in the back somewhere, I believe, probably on the same road by the concession stand. Um, don't forget about those footage. Takes, they take wonderful pictures. You get four nice digital images for 20 bucks. I mean, you can't even go to 20, for $20, you can't go to McDonald's as a couple anymore. Ridiculous. FJB. Prove me wrong. I'll be here all weekend. If you can tell me one thing this dipshit's done right, I'll go with it. Check it. 
Just going to make a little check down the track here. I think somebody lost a fuel cell cap. Probably no big deal. Hey, Steve, who's driving the wagon? Uh, okay, test and tune, let's hold them off a bit. We got to get the 16 winners up here, get them paired up for the Mullis Race Car Shootout. We got 16 coming back. For those of you at home, we had 32 last round. I didn't want to do the math for you. Figured you could do it. Get out your phone, figure it out. There's 16 coming back. We've got four of them up here. We need one and two, one and two for the shootout cars, for the Mullis Race Car Shootout. I started to say before, Mollus builds their cars a little bit different than everybody else. And then I got a text from my wife. She was mad because I forgot to tell her I made it here okay. Which, that's good. At least she still cares about me. It's been a long time. And I'm usually not the greatest guy to live with. So, Mollus, all of the tabs, everything you're going to need is on these cars pretty much. Uh, a lot of the other cars, you're paying to get tabs on them for like a fuel pump mount. Uh, so you got fuel pump tabs, brackets, choice of JRI or a Penske shock with a spring, coolant recovery tanks already mounted on them, vacuum tank mount. Interior and front LED light tabs, battery hold down, auxiliary starter button at the rear of the chassis, obviously for setting valves, change converters, whatnot. Provisions for dual shock if you prefer a dual shock setup. Uh, I believe these. So their standard car, their standard setup is a single shock swing arm, but provisions are there for a dual shock if you want. The mono strut wing mount, mollus blow shield, tabs for the lateral head support. Mollus cockpit and rear master cutoff switch, solenoid. Choice of a blow shield mounted radiator or rear mount radiator. Wiring is all ran through the rails. Mosier four link, Fab nine housing, symmetrical ends, strange rack and pinion, strange spindles, all grade eight hardware, of course. Mollus heavy duty anti roll bar. Mollus trans limiter plate handle, chrome molly drive shaft with yoke, and on and on and on. So the body, you're going to get a one piece composite body, both composite tail panels. Golly! This guy with this Malibu in the burnout box, he puts her on the popper in the burnout box and it's aggressive. You got the ignition tray, ground studs throughout. Shifter mount tabs, pull out handle tabs, seat belt mounts. Got another update from Abby. Apologize, she's down by the registration booth. Again, don't forget about the pictures.
So again, round three, Mullis shootout. You should be in the lanes. Lanes one and two, Mullis shootout. One and two, round three, 16 of you. the Midwest Bracket Fest 11K doubleheader live on Gallstar TV. Are you a bracket racer who enjoys double entering your car or running multiple classes at the same time? The Jones Transmission Cooling System is designed for you. The temperature of your transmission, the transmission fluid, and the torque converter all affect the consistency of your race car. The Jones Transmission Cooling System is an easy to install solution for managing these temperatures. The Jones System pumps transmission fluid from your transmission pan through your cooler between rounds, cooling not only the fluid but also your internal transmission components. When you're double entered in the late rounds, when it really matters, when the big check is on the line, don't let transmission fluid temperatures throw you a curveball. Check out jonestransmissionpumps.com to learn more.
Test in tune is closed. Test in tune closed momentarily here. Let us get the let us get the mollusk shootout cars in here and get them run through. And then we'll uh, we'll open up test and tune again. But right now, hold them back. All shootout cars, you should be in the lanes.
All right. Here we come. 32, 64 car shootout down to 16 car shootout. Left lane, Gene Skyberg. Uh -oh. Right lane, Travis Reitzel, 540 dial. The Camaro on the right, 611 dial. For the Firebird in the left. Gene's been on fire. He's been no worse than like 13 and dead on several times. Ooh, he's in trouble now. Travis puts it on him. He's 22 up front. Goes dead four. 27 total. Gene's 36 at the leave. And uh, 35 above. I believe he knew what was happening down there and got further behind, hoping Travis would break it out. We got Colton Munson left lane in that uh, Mustang. And we got... B -b 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 big bad Ben Haugen in the right lane in the new body Mustang. 492 in the right, 611 in the left. We'll go ahead and uh, get test and tune coming back around to three and four. Test and tune three and four. Colton Munson. Ben Haugen is 10 at the leave. Two above two, taking 28. Uh, Colton's 28, a little bit late on the tree, and breaks it out, sixth foul. Robert McGraw, left lane, and the American mullet machine, Jack Wheeler in the right lane. 6.45 dial over there. Robert McGraw, 4.55 with that Driscoll power in the left. m and dragster. Oh, we got a good one here. Robert McGraw is in control. Let's see if he can make it happen. He does. He's 007 up front. Burnout there. He's 007 up front. Drops to go two above, taking three foul. Right lane Jack Wheeler in the American mullet machine is 19 up front, one above three. Obviously, three foul behind. John Davis Jr. has been 423 all day from time trial. First round, second round, he's dialed 423 again. He's gonna go 169, 170, probably gonna go 423. Right lane, Eric Pavish, dialed 471. 471, 423, 471 is gonna be going about 145. John's gonna be coming 170. I think if I'm Eric, I'm dialing her tight and leaving her on the rug. John Davis in control. John Davis with the win. John goes 15 up front, goes 423 again with a 419 total. He's 998 to 60 foot. Uh oh, we got problems down here with Brian's car. Leaking badly, evidently. Oh, yeah, it's pouring. Pouring fuel out the way it looks. That's unfortunate. 
second. Right lane, Billy Banks Jr. down 5-12. is going to get the comp by. That would have been. Yeah. Okay, we're getting a little spill cleaned up down here. Again, test and tune three and four, please. If you want to test and tune, bring them on up three and four. Cassie Joe Garrett in the dragster left lane dialed 489. Dustin Wells right lane in the S10 pickup dialed 616. He's a uh, amateur horticulturist specializing in flowers and aromatics is what I've been told. Don't know you can read into that what you want. So we got Cassie Joe 489, Dustin Wells 616, both regular points race weekend participants here at Cedar Falls Motorsports Park. One in top bulb, one in bottom bulb. Dustin's in control. He's got 12 up front. Rip, rip, rip. Three above for the dub. So Dustin's 20, three above, taking nothing. And yes, I say taking nothing because he was the one ripping down there. We got Jim Higgins in the 69 Nova left lane, Sam McCarty in the right lane, Mama's Worry Mustang. I don't know how long this thing's been a race car, but it's been a race car for sure since the since the since the early 90s. I think maybe even into the 80s. Sam goes 008 red, taking himself out of competition. Jim Higgins in the Nova goes 20. One above one for the win. Again, test and tune. Test and tune, you're welcome. Three and four, please. Test and tune, three and four. Test and tune, three and four. Test and tune, three and four, please. So this is the last pair in the Mullis race car shootout. We'll be going into, yeah, we're gonna be down. For those of you that had trouble with the math last time, it should be easier this time. There was 16, so we're gonna have half of that coming back. Get your calculator out on your phone. Oh man, we got a dead heat here. The bike with the win. Alex Barwelder, Wyoming, Minnesota. He's 13 up front, dead two, 15 total. Double 06, margin of victory. Test a tune, test and tune, three and four. Test a tune, three and four, please. So, we just had 16. We're gonna have eight coming back. And it's gonna get real, real quick. All right, test and tune, test and tune, three and four, please. Test and tune, three and four. Hey, don't forget about the T-shirts over there by the uh, by the fence where everybody shoots their golf cart through into the staging lanes. Get yourself a T-shirt, event shirt, hoodie, golf star stickers. I mean, whatever you want, it's all over there. And then we got a little special going, the Cash Harvest special. Purchase a Cash Harvest shirt, get a Bracket Best shirt, ten dollars off. That applies to T-shirts and hoodies. Once again. If old Uncle Joe's inflation got to you a little bit, and how much of them sweatshirts, huh? Normal price. 40 bucks. I was right. 39 bucks, 40 bucks. Take you 10 off, 30 bucks. You just 
quadrupled discounted old Sleepy Joe the Pudding Eaters uh, uh, inflation. So get you some. Folks, no believes beautiful like it always does. Also, if you're in your motorhome or you're in your trailer and you got a TV, you got a way to stream it, get on the live feed. Let's get the count up there. Like it, share it, do whatever you got to do. Give it the thumbs up. That's, that live stream is brought to you by 1320 Marketing. If you don't know about 1320 Marketing, you need to. Uh, get on their website, take a peek. They can help you in more ways than I can even describe on the microphone here. Text alerts again to 74, text Gallstar to 74121. Gallstar, 74121. And old Abigail H. Design is up there close to registration on the main road, the main pit road coming to staging lanes. Get up there, get your get your pictures, four digital pictures for 20 bucks. Like I said before, you can't, here's the truth. You can't even take a kid to McDonald's and get two Happy Meals. It's more than 20 bucks, thank old Sleepy Joe. Uh, anybody got a golf cart? A tow vehicle, anything can run down to the ET shack. That'd be great. We got a dragster down up there. Tow vehicle, anybody, be much appreciated. Down by the ET shack. Actually, north of the ET shack. So if you got a golf cart with a strap or four wheeler or whatever, if you could run down there north of the ET shack. Drag that dragster back, they'd be happy. Probably buy you a beer or two out of their cooler. Maybe a candy bar. Okay, here you go. Hey, heads up in the pits, heads up in the pits. I know a lot of you guys drink a lot of beer. Then you send, you borrow somebody's truck like mine, you run to town tomorrow and you have your wife buy a whole bunch more beer. Here's the deal. Justin just filled me in on something here. So, we got a playground renovation project going on here. Those of you that drink piles of beer, let's uh, let's buy the beer here. 18 pack of tall boys, that's pounders for all you rookies. 18 pack of pounders, Bud, Bud Light, or Bush Light, 25 bucks. All the profits go to the park renovation, the playground renovation. Just got some news here. We got the pairings. Attention in the pits. We got the pairings. If you guys are out there, listen up. McGraw, you got lane choice over Banks. B -b 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 ben, you got lane choice over Travis Reitzel. Barwattler, you've got lane choice over Higgins with the Nova. John Davis, you got lane choice over Dustin Wells. That's who's left. When you're ready, bring them up. Until then, test and tune, three and four. Bring them up to three and four for your test and tune. I want to see somebody up here just hot lapping the hell out of their stuff. It happens every test and tune. Somebody's got to run the thing like six times between now and the next, uh, next round of the shootout, the Mollus Race Car Shootout. Once again, 18 packs of beer, Bud, Bud Light, Bush Light, 25 bucks, Pounders, Tall Boys. Available at the concession stand. All proceeds go to the park, the playground beautification project. 
We all know how hard it is to keep the kids entertained in these situations. And uh, you got a good playground where you can just turn them out, lock them in. Boy, what a glorious day that would be. Here's some more info. Beer cans, pop cans. Hey, if, if you like kids and you want to help the kids a little bit, take your beer cans, put them in a separate bag, or I was just told you can bring them to the concession stand. There's a bin over by the concession stand. All of the beer can money also goes to the park, the playground beautification project. So test and tune, keep bringing them up. We've announced the pairings. Let's run through them again. Robert McGraw, you got lane choice over Mr. Banks. So here we go. Let's call, let's call the eight cars that we got left in the Mullis Race Cars Shootout. Mullis, Mullis Race Cars Shootout, one and two, please. Mullis Race Cars Shootout, one and two. Test and tune, keep dragging them up to three and four. Uh, we'll run you right after the, uh, the shootout if you're up here. So we got McGraw over Banks, Haugen with lane choice over Reitzel, Bar Weltler, lane choice over Higgins, my phone just went black. And John Davis with lane choice over Dustin Wells. Some really good matchups there. I'm going to say, yeah, they're all really good matchups. I'm not going to pick one that's a, a premier matchup, but because they're all premier matchups. They all kicked in 325 to try and win a dragster. So again, Mullis race car shootout cars. Let's bring them up to one and two, please. Bring them up to one and two. There's only eight of you, but I've announced the pairings. Hopefully you can kind of get uh, get that figured out. Roll up here, get your lane choice figured out. Whatever you guys are gonna do, you're gonna flip or we're gonna force it on you or whatever we're gonna do. I guess if you guys can't figure it out, we'll force it on you. Shoot out, shoot out, shoot out. Bring him up. James, that wagon is nice. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you're speaking of the red Chevy 2 wagon. That's one of the folk cars out of Durant, Illinois. They bring a fleet of them, generally. So James Crawl, yes, it is a very nice wagon. A little shout out, a little personal business I need to take care of on the old live chat. Last week, 
excuse me, two weeks ago, triple seven race, a gentleman on the Gall Star live feed made a little wager with me that a door car would win the entire race. I wagered on the dragster. The wager was $200. This gentleman's name is James Stevens. If you know him, pound him. So he pays me my 200 bucks. And hey, guess what, guys? Out of the eight, we got a motorcycle. We got a bike in. I know we've got, I'm going to go through this here and figure out how many cars we got. I believe we got a fair amount of door cars, too. Yeah, keep 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 bringing them to three and four on the old test and tune. Three and four test and tune. So let's see. McGraw's a dragster. Banks is a dragster. Haugen is a door car. Reitzel is a door car. Bartweiler is that a dragster? I think that's a dragster. Higgins is a '69 Nova. Then we got a dragster. Oh no, Bartweiler might be the bike. There we go. There he is. Oh my God, I love your beard. That is glorious. Get. Home in on him on the live feed. Show his beard. Hey, right there. That is glorious. And then uh, John Davis in the dragster and Dustin Wells in the S10. So we got one dragster. Hey, there's only two dragsters left. B -b 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 Bam. Yeah. And Super Brawl, Chris Gall, Trip South Dakota, came into the weekend in third. Tom Gall, telepathic on the starting line. 4964495 dial at Gall, taking 7,000 to strike. The Gall Star TV YouTube channel. If you haven't watched it yet, you best be paying attention after this. They make incredible content.
I love you guys. Bring me some of that action. All right, here we go. Shootout's coming at you. Yeah, you win here. You're getting a little money back. Oh, you win here, you're getting more than your entry fee back. You get 500 bucks. So fairly critical round. So we got Mr. Bartweller on a bike here. Suzuki's gonna take. <laughs> There's my boys down there. <laughs> I love you guys. Yeah, I don't need water. <laughs> so here we go. Higgins in the left in the 69 Nova. Right lane. Mr. Bartwell Barwelter on the bike. 592 dial, right lane, 675 in the left. Yeah. Quarter final. Win here. Win here. <laughs> Win here, you get your entry fee back. True start gets him. 15, 15 red right in the left, 004 in the right. Right lane picking up the win. There's Travis Reitzel. So we got Travis Wright's so left lane down 539. Ban in the right lane down 494. Travis out of Minnesota. Ben Haugen, I believe, is I think Ben's out of Minnesota too. They do dirt work around uh, windmill towers. I don't know what Travis does. Travis's trips, Ben Haugen, 
is 004. So Travis Reitzel's trips, Ben Haugen's 004 red. Travis gets the win. Uh, looks like he lifted a little bit. Um, doesn't want to show his hand there, evidently. Now here we got the uh, amateur, amateur horticulturist, flower grower, flowers and herbs, Dustin Wells, left lane. John Davis Jr. in the right. Now he's dialed 421. Been dialed 423 all day. Been dialed 423 all day. He dropped her down to 21. Dustin Wells, 616. Again, test and tune. You can bring him up to three and four if you want. Test and tune, three and four. Dustin Wells, left lane, 616 dial. John Davis Jr., the 423. This thing's went 423. Three in a row. Now he dials it down. I think he just wants to hold it on the floor and drive right by Dustin. Dustin's going to have something to say about Oh, Dustin's 001 red. Dustin's 001 red. John Davis' is 13 green goes 23 again, this time with a zero. Dustin was two above anyway, even if he was trips. Yeah, even if he's trips, he still loses. Robert McGraw, left lane, Plattsmouth, Nebraska. Right lane, Glenn Dilde. All right, Billy Banks Jr. is driving Glenn's car. We must have had a car failure here. So the rule is that Billy can get into a different car. So Billy Banks Jr. driving Glenn Dilday's Nova, 548 down the right, 455 in the left for McGraw. Test and tune, test and tune, bring him up, three and four. Uh-oh. Never put it in low gear. Yeah, never put it in low gear, I don't think. Just rolled right through. Pushed the button, let go of the brake, drove through. Gave McGraw the freebie, and he just hammered the tree. He's 110 on the tree. I mean, stellar. 110 and a thou under. Bring me a beer, boys. Well, test and tune. Feel free. Bring them up. Three and four. Rocky, we're good. Uh-oh. Little test and tune action for you here. For those of you that struggle with math, how many how many are we gonna have left this next round? You heard that? You heard that from the king of the the queen of the tower here. We're gonna have four left next round. So lose next round. Five hundred bucks. Don't forget about all the sponsors here. Just looking down there at the winner's circle. K&R Performance, Kevin Ronan. Uh, absolutely outstanding delay boxes. Throttle stops, wiring kits. All kinds of stuff. Mollus race cars, of course. Get them carbs, get them performance. Go lithium. I think probably the best lithium batteries around right now. And I'm sure they'll stay on top of that. 1320 marketing. And of course, Long Motorsports Transmission.
Remember I said there's going to be one guy that hot laps the shit out of it? Here it is, this beautiful gray Mustang. I swear we were just having conversation. just went down the track. Now it's back. Here we go. So here's the here's the here's the semi-final pairings. Travis Reitzel has got choice over the bike. Mr. Barwelter. Bar -we Bar John Davis has choice over Robert McGraw. So two dragsters against a door car and a bike. Two dragsters facing off each other, a door car and a bike facing off each other. So test and tune, feel free to bring them on up. Two, three, and four. Test and tune, three and four. Rocky McLean, that hat looks so good on you, I don't even know how I can take it back.
Mullis shootout cars. Mullis dragster shootout cars. To the lanes, please. There's four of you. You know who you are. Mullis, dragster shootout cars. One and two, please. Shootout cars, one and two. Test and tune, three and four. Test and tune cars, three and four. Roger, how's your shoulder? tire gauge up here somebody lost it is a oh, it's an old school little moroso one zero to 15 psi that's pounds per square inch got about a 18 inch hose on it so if you're missing a moroso air pressure gauge it's up here in the tower uh shootout cars shootout cars mullis Dragster shootout cars. Mollus race car shootout cars. One and two, please. Test and tune. You can still continue to bring them up to three and four. Test and tune to three and four. Shoot out, shoot out. There's four of you. We were real good about this early. Now we got nobody. Let's go. Bring them up. Shoot out. There's one. 
No, that's a test and tune car. Let's go. We got four shootout cars. Let's bring them up to one and two, please. One and two. Mollus, Mollus race car shootout cars. Please bring them up to one and two. Matchups are Travis Reitzel. You got lane choice over Bar Welter, Weltler on the bike. Robert McGraw, Mr. John Davis has lane choice over you. KR Performance Engineering is the leader in drag racing electronics. From their delay boxes, dial boards, wiring kits, starting line enhancers, throttle stops, and more, KR is committed to the highest standards of quality control. Best yet, KR designs, manufactures, and tests all their products in house right here in the USA. KR boasts over 23 years' experience in designing and manufacturing multifunction microprocessor delay boxes. The ProCube is small in size but huge in features, including the popular Z Force mode, unlocking a whole new concept to reacting to the tree. Push the trans brake button to activate the delay cycle instead of releasing it. Visit krperformance.com to explore KR's extensive selection of bracket racing products today and enjoy free shipping on orders over $3.99. That's krperformance.com. Hey, test and tune, guys. Hold her off here. Hold off on suiting up. Hold off on suiting up in the test and tune. We're going to touch up the track and run the semifinal of the uh, shootout race first.
Get them performance designs and manufactures high quality performance carburetors for today's performance engines. Led by lifelong racer and performance industry veteran Trevor Wiggins, the Get'em team is dedicated to providing bracket racers with more power and more consistency. Get'em carburetors and every component attached to them are 100% made in the USA, built specifically for your combination. Get'em's unique twin blade ultra lightweight design results in increases in power output and consistency. Their revolutionary two-piece fuel bowl sealed with O-rings allow for quick and easy jet changes without ripping any gaskets. To learn why more bracket racers are choosing Get'em carburetors, visit getemgarage.com today. In Super Brawl, Chris Gall trips South Dakota, came into the weekend in third. I can't believe I'm so proud. And I was going to take a trail in the world. But I go, yeah. Yeah. Six four four ninety five dial at golf taking seven thou at the strike. Cross my heart and hope to die. The Golf Star TV YouTube channel. If you haven't watched it yet, you best be paying attention after this. They make incredible content. Long performance transmissions from Dale's A1 transmission provide bracket racers with unparalleled performance and reliability. Dale's A1 transmission is a family business built on customer service, passion, and hard work. The team at Dale's A1 custom build high performance racing transmissions as well as provide at the track transmission service. For more information about Dale's A1 Transmission, visit their website at dalesa1transmission.com or give them a call at 605-996-7102. All right, so racers, attention in the pits. There's been a lot of questions, a lot of uh, wondering if there's going to be another race after this. I'm here with track manager Justin, and uh, I was asking Justin. I said, Justin, the racers really want to do another race tonight. We're going to be done early. We're rolling through this. What do you think, Justin? Well, Justin, what would you say to me? He's thinking in yeah. deep thought. We're, we're, we're not going to do a, another gambler's race. We want to give our staff some time to unwind before we start early tomorrow morning. We're going to scrape the track down, put a nice base layer, and give you guys a premium track for the Gall Star Cash Harvest tomorrow. And that is something I can get behind. Um, most certainly wanted to put another race together for you guys. I know there's a lot of interest in it, and the schedule kind of allows for it. However... Um, the track staff out here in the heat, I want to do everything I can to stay ahead of this event. I want the track service to be absolutely premium all weekend long, and I can totally understand uh, getting a little bit of rest as we do have a double 11K event happening Saturday and Sunday. So if you were one of those people who are kind of holding out, maybe it's time to head to the cooler. There is test and tune available. Still, and uh, we're done with the semis here. So, Justin, you and your team, absolutely crushing it out here. Thank you for what you're doing. And uh, you guys will be coming fully rested bright and early in the morning. Am I right? 5.30 a.m., that's when we start. All right.
All right, here we go. Semi-finals. The Mollus Dragster shootout getting suited up. Four of them left. So, again, if you'd like to test and tune, available until 7.30. Go ahead and bring them up to three and four. Again, test and tune. Test and tuners will take you to lanes three and four. There's Mr. Mark. What's up, buddy? Not much. What happened to you there last round? Well, I let go one thou on the wrong side. And, yeah. yeah uh, you want to tell everybody what you just told me, or should I tell him? He set up two, folks. Come on. You can't set up two. He's a bottom ball guy. Running delay box. Set up two. What do you think, young man? Should he have set up two, or should he have set up, like, six? I agree with you. Six would have been glorious. Yeah. Yeah. I thought about putting five in before I rolled in, but I don't know. It had been working for me. It's been working almost all year, so I just figured, what the hell, give her a shot. Yes. I know I suck. I know I suck. It's all right. You like it. So, so there's a... The mouth of young concrete worker down here with a <laughs> DLC1 transmission turn. Hey, here's Travis Reitzel. For those of you that have been on the live stream all day, you remember when they were up here in the time trial and I picked Travis to be at least down to five cars. And he covered his face, got all embarrassed, was mad that I picked him because he thought I jinxed him. And I told him, I'm good luck. Well, look where he's at. He's down to four. He's down to four. He's got Alex Barwetler on the bike from Wyoming, Minnesota. Travis is from somewhere in Minnesota. Can't remember where. We got a 580 down on the right, 592 on the left. I'm telling you, if Travis is holding, this is in his wheelhouse. Very, very, very favorable. Within a tenth, and a, bi a bike, it's, it's hard. Got a bike laid out looking at your tire. Oh boy, this is all Travis right here. All he's gotta do is not screw it up. Bingo! Bingo! Travis is 16 on the tree, four above one, taking 87 stripe, Dustin. He killed a bunch. The bike was bad, bad problems right out of the gate. 82 on the hit and uh, six over. I think the bike probably dropped with him going, wow, this is not right. I need to do something here to give myself a chance. Yeah, drop, just grenade the brakes, smoke the tires, do everything you can possibly do to get behind because that's the only chance you got. Yeah, we got John Davis from Dunkerton over there, 423 dial. He dialed 421 against you. You go red, he goes 423 zero. So I don't know why he ever dialed 421, but. I thought his car went a little faster. He's been running like 167, five to 165 to 169. Well, he's in trouble here. Bingo, Robert McGraw gets the win. He's 13 up front, one above three, double O2 margin. Uh, let's look at this a little bit. Uh, John Davis gave that back. John gave it back too. He's only 159 mile an hour. He's 423 with a nine. 159, been one in, running 160, high 160s dropping. And uh, got a bunch behind. Got Give it back to Thou. So we got Robert McGraw against Travis Reitzel. Again, I picked Travis early, early. He was he was the first pair up here. All right, how much? What do I owe you from the last race? Oh, we did end up even. Well, then let's just do $10 then. Well, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Let me see what cash I have because I might not even have $10. 
Heim flip. White ones are worth two cents. Yellow ones are worth negative 10 cents. So you're in the hole. All right, we got a dollar laid down on the final here. So let's go back to the chat folks. Um, last week on the Gall Star broadcast, or two weeks ago, at the Triple Sevens race, we, we, I made a bet with a gentleman, and that gentleman assured me he was all in and was prepared to pay the bet and still hasn't. So I'm going to announce his name again here real quick. <laughs> Uh, I got to get to my screenshots. I'll find it here. If you guys know him, make sure you tag him. I'm sure he's watching, but now he's afraid to chat because he's like, oh, my God, the guy I bet is the announcer. Yeah, it's James Stevens. His name is James Stevens. I don't know where he's from. Uh, his, his picture is a red shirt, red ball cap, and some sunglasses. So if you guys know James Stevens... Get him in touch with me. I'll give him my PayPal. Actually, I gave it to him several times. He just needs to pay me the two hondo. Yeah, he owes me 200. James Stevens, I know you're out there lurking, my friend. You owe me a deuce. No, you can't. What are you talking about? You mean you can't trust people in red hats? What about, what about Big D? Heavy D? The Don? I mean... If it's a red hat and it has white letters on it, then you can trust it. Correct. And, and, yeah, red hat, red shirt, can't trust. Red hat, orange cheeks, trust. 100%. All right, there we go. I did. I called both of you. Tom, Tom's up here now. Tom's up here now, too. Tom answered his phone and then threw it on the counter and never, ever responded to me again until today. This young man I've known since he was still peeing in his pan, and he did that to me. And then I called you, and you wouldn't answer. You would have won 100 bucks on the team race. So. <laughs> well, 2 in the morning. It's different. You can't do it during the day. So me and Dustin have just been made aware that like the last 35, 40 minutes of our conversation, uh, uh, you've only heard me and not him. So it was probably pretty odd for everyone. Yeah, very odd. <laughs> it, it was odd for me. I'm not going to lie. I got to tell you, you got to get rid of the yellow glasses. You look like the cr like a well, cricket looking they, at me. They help me when it gets darker. I can't see. Yeah, but you're, you're done racing. Well, I know, but I like them. They make, <laughs> I feel like I feel smarter with Are, them on. Do <laughs> <laughs> Are you? Do you feel like a marksman or something? Well, now you know with them on, I can read at a fourth hey. grade level. So, <laughs> you know, generally they have trap shooting down here at the corner of Cedar Wusky. They all wear them. I decided to ditch them and go racing. So, well, a trap shooting is much more expensive than racing. Yeah. Hey, how about we get the finals of the Mullis Race Car Shootout up here? Finals 
Mollus Race Car Shootout. Bring him up. This, the guy with the Malibu is super aggressive on the popper and the burnout, and I love it. Did you hear that thing? It's like you're gonna, gonna poop the bed right there in front of all of it. Sounds like stuff I would not Again. like to do to my truck. Yeah. Again, chat guys, if you know James Stevens, J-A-M-E-S-S-T-E-B-E-N-S, -E -E he owes me a deuce. That'd be too hondo. I've got the screenshots if you want me to post them. Get this guy, find him, and make him pay me. So whoever whoever this dude is in the left lane, he's got his dialing board up. I think it had 630 on it. That's... Right lane's got 638. I mean, it's just testing tune, but hey, let's see. Oh, Malibu leaves pretty good. Yeah, both good on the tree. Double up four and 11. Okay, maybe it was an eight. Maybe hmm. it was an eight and not a three. I love this Z34. The old Lumina. Oh, yeah. Was that Krakowski? Jason Krakowski, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think so. So once again, testing tuners, we're gonna run you until 7:30. Obviously, we gotta stop you for the for the finals of the shootout, and then we're also gonna do the winter circle pictures interview. So, testing tuners, if you're looking to test your car, now's the time to do it. We'll also take our Mola shootout finals to lanes one and two. Hey. Just want to get back at you here. I, I, there was a little confusion on the t-shirt prices. I didn't know the exact prices of them. So the normal t-shirts, 25 bucks. Hoodies are 40, caps 35, stickers are two bucks. Cash Harvest Special, like we talked about before. You buy a Cash Harvest t-shirt, get a Bracket Fest t-shirt for 10 bucks. Buy a Cash Harvest hoodie, get a Bracket Fest hoodie for 25 bucks. Some good deals down there. Got good people, man, in the shack. Oh, Reno. Hello, hello, check, check, baby, check, baby, one, two, hey, finals, finals, finals of the Mollus Dragsters, Mollus race car shootout, bring them up, one and two, finals, one and two, test and tune, we're going to go till 730, we're going to take a break for the finals, and we're going to take a break for the winner's circle pictures. But if you want to bring them up here and test it to them, bring them on up. Look at the C10 here. Little step side box, Mickey Thompson drag radio on it.
Travis is up here, so all we're waiting on is Robert McGraw. Yeah, waiting on them dragsters like we always do, the prima donnas. Prima donnas are drag racing, the, bra the dragsters. Motors out in the open, radiators out in the open. Four cars to the front. Take four days and 13 hours to cool it off and bring it back up. One thing I've noticed about the dragsters, just from my races, they all pull up at the same freaking lane. Well, they like to because it's all, it's the same. It's monkey see, monkey do. Yep, yep. It's a dragster thing. Yeah. So, Tom knows. So, yeah, he does. Tom knows. He's not, he won't admit it, but he knows. No. So we got a few test of tune cars here. We got Travis Reitzel up here. I'm going to run down and talk to Travis, as a matter of fact. I'll be back in a minute. Sounds good, buddy. Right, so once again, Robert McGraw, we're waiting on you. Test check. Yeah. Hello. 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 Yeah. Mark, Justin says you're talking too loud. Tone it down a little bit and try it again. Thank Tom. Can you hear it at all? You got it? Yeah, it's a little better. It's a little better. Just try to pull it away from your face just a little more. Test, test, check. Yeah. All right, so if you're in the Rob Livingston pit, Jill, back there, you want to tell Rob, looks like he's leaking water. So again, Robert McGraw, wait for you, buddy.
McGraw. There he is. We got both our finalists up here. Looks like we got four test tuners in the lane. Five. We got the bike. Gambler's race tonight. So it looks like they're doing some negotiating down there, possibly going to split the chassis in half. The question is who gets the rear, who gets the front? Take that how you'd like. Alright, so again, if you have not tested car and you're in test and tune time is rolling down now uh, they, they say 730s when they're shutting in shutting them down but if there's no cars coming up here they're they're just gonna shut it down early so if you're looking to test and tune you need to get up to three and four we've got our final sitting in one and two so again So again, if you're looking to test, bring them up to three and four. We've got our final, and we're gonna do an interview, win some pictures, and if there's any of you up here, we'll run you down the track. Oh, we're getting crazy on that golf cart, man! I like it, dog. Oh man. Look really weird without a mustache, though. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Bubba, golf carts go to lanes five.
Again, if anyone's looking to test and tune, we're open. Obviously, we're going to run our final. Then we're going to do circle pictures and interview. Benji! Benji! Ben, I see you. No, I don't think I don't think Ben's ignoring me. Nothing. Uh, we're we're squared up on our bet, right? Yeah, one one dollar, right? Yeah, bet. It's a buck. Hey, try pulling the microphone away from your mouth just a little and try How about that. that. Sound a little better? Oh yeah, that sounds well, I'm way better. I'm getting closer the whole time too. Yeah, when you pull it away a little bit, it sounds good. <laughs> I mean, it's not a nice cream cone. Generally, uh, generally when you pull it away a little bit. It's uh, <laughs> it's better. <laughs> Some of you will get that. Some of you oh, I see a little smirk on Tom's <laughs> face. He finds it funny. <laughs> what are we doing over here? Oh, you looking for Tom? Hey, Benji. Why don't you bring your blonde, beautiful locks up here and say hi to me? Stop ignoring me. So, uh, they're coming back down the track, just so you guys know what's going on up there. And the starting line guys, they're coming back down the track, winner oh, and yeah. loser. Hell yeah. And uh, the test and tune will happen after the winter circle pictures. Uh, Wait up if you're listening. Oh, there they are. I love you guys. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. I, I left my phone up there, though, I think. I think. I hope. This is, this is, I've been drinking the whiskey. And <laughs> oh, it's gone. So once again, test and tuners are going to hold off the, we're going to run the final of this shootout. Then they're going to come back down the track. We're going to do some winter circle pictures, interview, and then we'll get into you guys. I know. Because it's like me and my native brothers and sisters pulled it off. Okay, don't move your cart. I gotta go potty real quick. Yeah, I think it is. All right, here we go. Final round of the Molas shootout. Who you got here? You got Travis in the door card. You got Robert in the dragster. Robert's already got a dragster. He's looking to gain another one. Right, here we go. So here we go. Right lane. We got, got Travis Reitzel, right lane. Who do you got in the left lane up there? I got Robert McGraw in the left lane. He's dialed in with a 454. We got a we got a big money bet on this. It's a dollar. One doll hair. One dollar can he go a long way. Oh, you got ten. Ten over here. All right. I think one dollar can right. get you. I got more bets down here. Are Justin. they are they dollar bets? I got I got another I got a bet with Josh Kanzler down here. It's way more important than your bet. More than a dollar? Yeah, it's ten dollars. The one you wouldn't Woo! take. So I'm I'm fixing to win eleven bucks here. Ooh, I 
don't know. I don't know. Oh boy. I hate to say this, but you owe me a dollar and you owe cancel our 10. McGraw goes 12 up front, killing to go two above seven, taking a bunch. Travis is 61 on the tree, misses it. One above seven. And Mark, you owe me a buck. So Robert McGraw wins himself a molus. Uh, again, final call, test and tune. If you want to yeah. test and tune, bring it up to three and four. But uh, the test and tune are not going to run until after the winner's circle pictures. That is true. Keep that in mind. Winner and runner-up are going to come back down the track. I lost $11 right there. So, Mark, what do we want to do here? Do we want to just tally the dollars, or do you just want to pay up now? Hey, Benji. Ben, can you hear me, Ben? Ben, can you hear me? Ben, I'm up in the tower. Can you hear me? Hey, Ben. Why are you ignoring me? I haven't got a meet and greet today. Pretty sure this ain't working anymore. Is this working? I can't Hello? air greet it. Hello? Hello? You're make me come down there. Yes, Mark, it is working. Uh, where are okay. you at? I'm right here. Oh, there I see you. Here. Look at me yeah. real quick. You, you want to talk to him? Yeah, yeah, the last time I meet and greeted you, my motor blew up. <laughs> oh. So are we not doing the meet and greet anymore? Uh, I want to wait till it's fixed. So then, no more meet and we'll greet. Jerry will meet and greet me. You want to meet and greet? <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm coming down there. Me and Jerry will meet and greet. <laughs> it, uh... It scares me a little bit when you guys talk about meet and greet. I'm about out of battery. We got a battery charger? Or what have we got? Yeah, but the, it just shut off. It has nothing to do with me holding it close to my lip. Hey, buddy. <laughs> you, get, get, get it open. Get it open. Get on the camera. Get the, drop the hammer on that thing. I ain't going to stop you. What do you think? What do you think just happened? Kind of speechless right now. <laughs> Come on, you can't be speechless. Normally, normally the kid's up here on this interview, not me. <laughs> yeah, well, us old guys got to get her done once in a while. What, I mean. McGraw, congratulations. Thank you, very much. Thank you so much for supporting Golf Star Bracket Races. Your winner at the Mullis Race Cars Dragster Shootout is Robert McGraw. Robert, take me through the day. Well, it was, uh, I had a good feeling about today. And, uh, yeah, I got a good crew chief right there, Jerry. Uh, 
everything. It, it, car worked well, and car was working great. Driver was on point, too. Yeah, very rarely I'm on point, but I was on point. So you're taking home a brand new 2022 Mullet Race Cars Dragster. This vehicle is on the jig right now. They're ready to have a phone call with you. Pick your options. Pick your powder coat colors. You want to change things on the car. You want a carbon body. It's up to you now. You get to make it your own. What do you think? That sounds pretty cool. <laughs> well, congratulations, you guys. Robert McGraw, your Mullet Race Cars Dragster shootout here at Car Catch Harvest. Justin, I need more trash cans at my pits, unless you want to pick up a mess like two weeks ago. Oh, hey. 
Here's the thing. All you need is garbage bags. And then they go for the beautification project of the uh, children's play area. We ran out of garbage bags last weekend. Justin knows. Huh. Well, let's just make a pile then. Pick them up with a loader. Robert, anything else you got to say? We got the microphone fixed. Did you think you had, is there one round that was pivotal, pivotal for the day? What do you think? Yeah, uh, when, the, what, when Banks had to run that different car. Yeah. I just knew I was going to mess, mess it up. I did everything. I put a bunch of time in the box. And, and then we went to stage. He wrote, was like, oh. Yeah. I, I, think, I, don't, I don't think he got it back in low gear. It just it seemed like when he let go and, oh, timer, timed it up. Yeah. I, I thought that was probably going to be a pretty weird round, too. I thought one way or another that was going to be pivotal. Pivotal. <laughs> and uh, it turns out it was, huh? Yes, it was. But everything else, they were all low teens or high double O's. So. No, you were, you, you, were, you, were, you were on fire. Yeah. Both of you were. Both of you had a, a very good day, and uh, uh, it, it came down to just a few thou in the end there. Yeah. There's still hope for old people like me. Yeah, yeah. I sold all my stuff because I got old. And just, <laughs> Is yours for sale? No. no, never. All right, it's not for sale. All right, again, congratulations. Ooh, well, look at this. <laughs> there, there's a little jar of not water down here in the, uh, in the, oh, settle down there. Settle down. We need to talk here a minute. <laughs> well, I, I didn't, I didn't say you were bad. Let's go over here. Let's get over the winter circle, Travis. Uh, Early on in the day, I kind of made a little comment, and you were standing in the staging lanes, and you were a little frustrated with me, I think. How did it turn out for you? It turned out awesome, but that's maybe the bump I needed to, <laughs> to get my ass going. Well, I know it's been a little tough year for you, but here, uh, you know, there's a lot of racing left yet this year, and this is a good way to uh, get, the, get the fuse lit. Yeah, it actually turned out really nice. I've been chasing my car and chasing problems and chasing this and chasing that, and I was ready to throw in the towel, getting frustrated, frustrated, frustrated. Came out tonight. I can't say thanks enough to the starting line guy at Cedar Falls because that track was phenomenal, and I'll say that again. I hope it's that way the rest of the weekend. It was phenomenal. I'm guessing he can't hear me, but hands down, awesome racing surface. He, he's. This is this is not water, I guess. It's not water. Could I taste the not water, maybe?
Wow, that's delicious. Do they make that in Minnesota? Is that spring water out of Minnesota? Wisconsin spring water? I'm moving to Wisconsin tomorrow. <laughs> you got any more of that? What do you think? What do you think about the whole the the Gall Star bracket races as a whole? Uh, run very efficiently, do you think? I can't think, Tom. Gall Star, enough. Um, awesome. I was to the one at Eddyville. Had an awesome time. Kind of, yeah. I had an awesome time there. Very well. Very organized. Thanks for bringing the small guys to the bigger media money. It's it's awesome. Thank you very much. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. No problem. Well, now that you uh, you did this today, you got two more days. Eleven thousand bucks a day. What are you thinking? Think uh, keep your head down and keep grinding. Yeah, and more. Not water. It, it, <laughs> not too much of it, though. Tom, you got anything? No, I just want to thank everybody here at Cedar Falls Motorsports Park for putting on a great racing service at a great facility for us. Um, tomorrow morning, we'll be on the track at 8 o'clock with a uh, one and only time hit session for our 11Ks. And that's it. We're going to finish up Winter Circle Pictures. And Travis got something to say. I got one more thing. I don't know if the wife can hear me. Whoa, 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 whoa! Let's let's get let's get through this, buddy. What do we got going on here? I can't even say it. Yeah, you can. Thanks to my mom and dad, and thanks to my wife and children for putting up with this. Of course, none of us could be doing what we're doing out here without the support from our families and uh, our loved ones, because it's a lot of work just to get to the racetrack. I mean, late nights, a lot of diesel fuel. And uh, so thank you to everybody who's at home taking care of the property, uh, letting us come and do what we love, and congratulations to you, yeah. Travis. And uh, let's do it again tomorrow.
Goa Lithium Intelligent Power Batteries are handmade in the USA and are purpose-built for racing. Backed by over 10 years of R&D and testing, Go Lithium batteries provide endurance and durability you can trust to go round after round. The Go Lithium 16 volt Gen 2 battery provides 1250 cranking amps, 20 amp hours of reserve power, and a 10 year service life, all in a 9 pound package. Best yet, Go Lithium is the only lithium battery on the market based on high durability prismatic cells. This means the battery is safer, lasts longer, and is built to handle high demand racing applications. To learn more about the lithium battery trusted by champions around the country, visit golithium.com. That's golithium.com. In Super Brawl, Chris Ball trips South Dakota, came into the weekend in third. Four four ninety five dial at golf taking seven thousand to strike. Cross my heart to die. The Golf Star TV YouTube channel. If you haven't watched it yet, you best be paying attention after this. They make incredible content. 